Hi friends, welcome to my new channel. In this channel, I discuss about the applications of physics in our daily life. Today, I discuss how do we work. To know that, at first we should know the Newton's third law. What is Newton's third law? Newton's third law states that every action has an equal and opposite reaction. What does it mean? This statement means that in every interaction there is a pair of forces acting on the interacting particle. In figure 1, the shoes and the ground are the two interacting particles. When we work, our shoe applies the force F and the reaction force is R. When we put our foot on the ground, actually we apply a force to it. According to Newton's third law, ground also applies an equal and opposite forces on us. This force is reaction force that is denoted by R. Now, we divide the reaction force into two components. One is vertical component and other is horizontal component. In figure 2, the normal component is denoted by N and the horizontal component is denoted by FH. The normal component it cancel out by the force Mg that is actually our weight but there is no other force that cancel out the horizontal component. So due to this horizontal component we can move. Again if there is no friction we can't move. That means frictional force also help us to move. Now what is friction? Uh, in this video, we talk about very briefly. Friction is the force that opposes the motion between two surfaces that are sliding or trying to slide. Now when we are walking, friction arises between the shoes and the ground. It prevents our shoes slipping on the ground. At the time of walking forward, at the time of walking forward, the bottom of our shoes exert a backward frictional force. In figure 3, the backward frictional force is act in the left side. And ground also exert a frictional force to the right side. Due to this frictional force we uh, we can move so the frictional force and the reaction force together help us to move now here a question arise when we walk we move forward does the earth move the answer is no when we walk we apply a force F to the ground Ground also applies an equal and opposite force to the person. Due to this force, acceleration arises. Let the acceleration of the person is A and the acceleration of the earth is A dash. The force is equal in both cases but mass is, mass is not same. In case of the person, mass is very small, so acceleration is very high. But in case of earth, A is very very greater than, so acceleration is very small. Hence, it is not possible to accelerate the entire earth. But being elastic, we just deform a tiny bit of earth that is under our foot. So, we can't accelerate the art entirely thank you for watching this video and please subscribe my channel